Cameras play an important role in current computer vision systems. They contain image signal processing pipelines, so-called ISPs, that transform noisy raw signals into a noiseless and colorful image. The processed images are then fed directly into other downstream networks, such as object detection and image segmentation. Despite being responsible for image quality, ISPs and physical camera optics are often ignored by the current robustness research. Considering adversarial attacks, neglecting these components results in two problems. First, without considering these modules in the camera pipeline, synthetic attacks, such as projected gradient descent, fail to generalize to the real world. For instance, the captured version of this adversarial image is unable to deceive the classifier that was initially targeted. Second, in some cases, image processing algorithms can accidentally introduce adversarial patterns. For example, a demosaic version of this raw simoid image is correctly classified while the filtered one, which is more visually pleasing, is mistakenly classified as a ladybird. Based on these observations, we introduce a new form of attack that specifically targets camera ISPs and optics. Unlike traditional attacks, this one is only observable by a set of targeted imaging pipelines, but not all of them, even when they use the same downstream classifier. We first illustrate this attack on camera ISP. In this case, we input a given raw image into multiple ISPs and attempt to deceive the pipeline that deploys ISP A without changing others' predictions. To deal with the black box and non-differentiability nature of the hardware ISPs, we introduce proxy ISPs, which replace the original ISP with a differentiable approximation. This function consists of a linear demosaicing operation and a UNet. We optimize the parameters of this function by collecting thousands of image pairs and train it with an L1 reconstruction loss. We found that fine-tuning this proxy function with adversarial perturbations significantly improves the attack performance. We denote this new function as a local proxy ISP, which is then used as a gradient oracle for our attack. To fool a specific ISP, we model the attack as the following constrained optimization problem, where we want to find a perturbation delta that minimizes the cross-entropy loss between the targeted class and the pipeline's prediction while keeping others intact. To solve this problem, we used a proposed proxy approximation and relax it into the following soft constraint problem. Here is the visualization of our method, where we fit the noisy raw image into the proxy pipelines. We're then able to calculate the cost function per pipeline and the total loss. The gradient with respect to delta is then backpropagated and used for updating the attack. Similar to previous works on multitask learning, we found that we can achieve better results by alternately updating delta with the two loss components. To validate our method, we display the images on the ViewSonic monitor and capture the raw signals with a FLIR camera that employs a Sony IMX249 sensor. The raw image will be processed by four different ISPs before going through the classifier. In our experiment, we use two automotive hardware ISPs and two differentiable ISPs. For the hardware ISPs, we use the Mobidius Myriad 2 and the Arm Mali C71 ISP module. For the differentiable ISPs, the first one employs the bilinear demosaicing operation and is referred to as demosaicing ISP. The second one performs bilateral filtering and is referred to as bilateral filter ISP. Let's look at some qualitative results. Here, we show the adversarial raw image at the top and the raw perturbations targeting the Movidius ISP at the bottom. For the next columns, we show the processed images and the associated RGB perturbations for each ISP. It can be observed that despite having the same adversarial raw image as input, each ISP produces distinct RGB perturbations. In this case, the raw patterns only become adversarial when being processed by the Movidius ISB. Here's the attack that targets the Arm Mali ISB, and this one for the bilateral filter ISB. Here's another set of examples where each row shows an attack on a specific ISB. 
we have also extended the proposed method to target camera lens, a compound optical system instead of the camera hardware ISP. The modified optics proxy function now models the entire transformation from the displayed image to optics, sensor, and ISP that produces the final RGB image input to the image classifier. Here are the optical systems we used in this experiment. The goal was to fool a particular optical module, such as the Fujinon optics shown here, while leaving another optical system, that is the Cook triplet, intact, and vice versa. Here, we show results of this optics in the loop experiment. Note that this attack also demonstrates that our perturbations work in the real world, as opposed to the traditional methods. In summary, we introduce and validate the first method for finding adversarial attacks that deceives a specific camera ISP and optics while leaving cameras with other ISPs or optics intact, although they employ the same classifier network. Building on this work, we envision not only research on defense mechanisms to improve future image processing and camera optics, but also end-to-end -end multimodal sensor optimization as a potential avenue for resilient systems design against adversarial attacks.